What's the plan? We head along the river, until we get to that ration stockpile. If Tom's right, we should be able to pick up a circuit board from there. And then there's just the module. Piper suggested Diamond City. That's probably our best bet. You got time to talk now? Sure, let's just keep our eyes out. So what's wrong? Wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I figured I'd offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? I know I've asked before, but is there anything you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute? They keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years, and someone was always watching. Then one day, you wake up on the other side, and that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world, with such people in it. Yeah, I know the feeling. So, the... outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories, pre-war, faded to all heck of guys dressed like this, doing what I do, putting on the hat and trench coat, and I figured it'd let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make the man and all that. Guess I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. Wait, pre-war memories? Who... who are you? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. My memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Wait, so you're from my time? Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something... something my wife always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. We should probably head out. Yeah, let's simmer down and get to that stockpile. This is the spot. But what's left of it? It doesn't look like a ration stockpile. Not anymore. They got bodies up on high. Yeah. See movement in the back. They'll be ready for a fight. Stealth won't hurt. We'll stay low to start with. What? Maybe not. Watch for trouble. Nothing there now. It's so 
was heavy. Come on. Who's there? Got her. There's gotta be more. Yes, we're not alone. Nope. Good. Got him. I think that's it. One for good measure. Let me know if you need any extra. Let's check outside. Make sure there's none left. Lights ain't hooked up to anything. Not anymore. We did an number on them. Check the other bunker. Good here too. We could take a moment, see what they got, or we push in. They probably heard the booms, probably thought they won. I think that's the way. Yeah, looks like it. All right, might still have the element of surprise. Let's try and take it. I chance there's gonna be more of them. Lamco. Looks good. Well, as good as it can be. There might still be food here. Although, 200 years. How much did they have stockpiled? I'm gonna sneak. Got a bad feeling. Down. There's gotta be more. Clear. Got him. I 
I think we're okay. Both all right? That's good. We can go further in. No circuit boards. Yeah. Oh, we got two options. Let's try the computer first. Let's see if there's anything. Alright. It's not responding. That's not a good sign. And that looks like the spot. There's another door, though. We can get round. Must have been what they were trying to do. Yeah, they blew through. Either they did, or some angry citizens. They might not have heard. It's unlikely, but maybe. Hang on. <laughs> Gas. It looks like there might be a leak. Which means that we cannot fire any weapons in there. That's not good. Alright. Cover your mouths. Shit. They're smoking. I don't know how far the gas goes. Yeah. We're okay. <clears throat> now live. I think it was just the two. Or not. Shit! Oh, he's not coming this oh. way. Sign of them now. Yet. Okay. It's gonna get real loud. Come on. See them. Hey, nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Well, you're not wrong. Down in the jet, I guess. Now don't start talking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the? Oh, it's two down. It's starting to get a little low. Should be enough to clear. Especially if we can get some of that back. It looks like they're mostly using pipes. So that means 38. Low caliber. Disappearing act, huh? They like making themselves known. Looks promising. Dumbass coward. Smart. Someone there? Come on. Pop back out. Something. Think something's broken. That's all of them. This is 
the other side. I don't suppose you still work. We didn't come all this way for nothing. His intel is good. It looks like it's mostly food. And there is a cache, though. We might be able to get this working. Nick, any chance you can have a go? What's the plan? Good plan. I'm not expecting a miracle. Hell. The circuit board might not even be in there. Sure thing. But it's at least one place we can take off. I trust Tom. It's here somewhere. What on earth? How are they... Oh. Oh. There we go. I... I see what you're doing there. Do you mind? Get this thing open. That'll do. It's a lot of food. It's the way straight through. I never managed to get in. something good behind. It's empty. Just some old meds. That's it then? Other than the food. Most of it's been eaten. Some left in the Blanco. a few in. The rest is for the wasteland. Let's we'll start making our way back through. Could be something we missed. Or someone. Let's we'll search the bodies as we go. Yeah. Not doing them much good at this point. No. It's 45 and some stims. 38? There's gotta be a lot of that. I think we've been in here. I'll check the lock. Or not? No. Not a chance. Hey, Piper. You say the word. You mind having a look at this? Oh. Uh, no. Yeah, I... I'm not exactly good with safes either. Well, it keeps on going. Counted for. Let's go. Good. Make sure she's down. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Let's see what you got. Well, the armor's pretty well damaged. There's a hollow tape. I think it might be a pass. Huh. So that's what's with the pain. Looks like she might have been the boss. No circuit boards out in the open, but there's enough tarts. 
The chance we'll be able to scavenge something from one of them. Huh. She left some notes. Damn it. Sorry, sis. I don't even know what happened. Covering the entrance like you told me. Tower Tom's little maggots on the run. Woke up in Beantown Brewery. Tower Tom. Looks like a few of them have a reputation. I can't feel sorry. It's more. Let's we'll see what we can get. Mind the flames. <clears throat> Targeting card. Looks good, but it's not the circuit board we need. The other. I think we got it. It's... it's got a little damage. The soldier could use some work, but... <sighs> we got it. That's our goal done. Although... There's still a slim chance we could find a module. I want each of you to turn this place upside down. Weapons, ammunition, armor... If any of it's useful, make use of it. But the module is what we need. Let's get to it. After searching high and low, there was no module. But there was a lot of ammunition, armor pieces too, and far more food than we could carry. I was still impressed by how the two operated. Piper wasn't a soldier, she was just a journalist. Yet, having to live in this world, it's made her capable. Nick too. Both are investigators. They're not trained killers. And I'm still not sure if all the death gets to them. I haven't let myself think because I haven't stopped. And there's a small part of me that worries for all I've done, all the lives I've taken to get back Sean. But then again, it still doesn't feel real. None of this feels real. The human mind wasn't built to wake up 200 years at a time. I'm spiraling. I need to stay focused. Honed. Every scumbag in the Commonwealth is gonna know our name. Diamond City. That's the next stop. 